Hello everybody and welcome back to Barf Replays The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. I'm Barf, I'm the one playing the video game. You can tell because I'm holding the controller and it is only my face on the camera. We are on our way up into Death Mountain, the mountain of death! Guys, remember in Zelda 1 where we spent like almost the entire game before we even got close to Death Mountain? Fuck that, dude. Still the beginning of the game. We're barely an hour into this motherfucker and we're gonna do some Death Mountaining. How old am I? I am 30 years old. 30. I have 30 years. Tengo 30 años. I don't know who you are. But if you are going up the mountain, will you take me with you? I lost my lamp, so I'm um, fucked. I would have died here if not for you. Thank you, young man. Uh, watch your step. There are holes in the ground. Could you turn right here? Young man, are you also going to the mountain to look for the golden power? Just ahead are, is a mountain full of monsters. Many have vanished in this mountain while looking for the golden power. I don't want to steer you wrong, so please don't get too involved in such a mad quest. Fuck that, dude. I'm gonna get super involved in a mad quest. Uh, turn right here. You know, I have a granddaughter uh, who is your age. The king took her to the castle and she never returned. Kidnapping those maidens must be part of the wizard's plot. I'm sure he is trying to somehow use the power of the descendants of the wise men. Okay, I have a problem. I have a problem! This is a plot hole! This is a plot hole. This is the second dude who we have encountered who he himself is a descendant of the wise men, right? Because it's this cat and Sarashala down there in the Eastern Palace, right? Am I correct so far? The missing maidens are still alive somewhere. I believe that a hero will rescue them. A hero with a capital H. I wait for that day. Uh, these are dangerous times. I talk too much. Thank you for your kindness uh, to an old man like me. I wanted to give you this. If you wander into a magical transporter, gaze into this mirror. Bum, 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 bum. The magic mirror. The mirror is blue, clear, and beautiful. You feel like it is going to absorb you into another world. The story... Ah. Hang on. Mm. Delicious, delicious water. The story... 47? You're 47 years young. 47 years young. That ain't nothing. You're still a young buck. The story in this game is that Ganon is acquiring the maidens because they are the descendants of the seven wise men. And if he eliminates them, the bloodlines of the seven wise men will be ended. And at that point, the seal will be weak enough that he will be able to do a thing, right? Like there's, there's more plot to it, but that's the idea, right? Do these guys not count anymore because there are younger people in this family? Because you eliminate the seven maidens and then you're like, yeah, there's still an old man on a mountain and there's an old man in the desert and they're also descendants of the seven wise men. Um, we didn't capture them because we didn't think they counted and Ganon's like, why wouldn't you think they counted? They're, they're the family. You gotta destroy all the families. Yeah, we didn't think we needed to do that. The wizard has deceived the king and now is just trying to open the way to the dark world. To complete your quest, you will need the moon pearl, which is in the tower on top of the mountain. Yes, the Tower of Hera. The maidens are made of iron. They might be, man. A couple of iron maidens out there. All I can do for you now is comfort my weariness. The term is weariness. Comfort my weariness. Come back here anytime. This is the old man on the mountain who I almost got in trouble with in first grade, but apparently my teachers didn't care that I used language that a sexually harassed person, sexually manipulated person, would have used. Abused, that's the word. Sexually abused person would have used those words. Everything was okay. I was safe. Everything was cool. But, that's not the kind of language that you're like, oh, he's just being silly. No! No! Do I play Super Mario Brothers? Yes! On Sundays. Tomorrow! This time tomorrow, act no, not, okay, caveat, not this exact time tomorrow, because Super Mario Sunday tomorrow will be cut short a little bit, because we have a Convert to Raid Guild Town Hall meeting. It's supposed to start right around now, this time tomorrow. So, I'm gonna get home from work at 5 o'clock, I'm going to consume dinner, I'm going to get all comfy cozy with the green screen and the lights and the water and all that jazz. Play two hours 
of Super Mario Galaxy, call the stream early, and head over to the Guild Town Hall, because as a department head, I'm supposed to be there and have things to say, and I actually do have a thing to say. I just, I haven't, I mentioned it in the department head Discord, but I haven't actually heard back yet. I assume I have the go-ahead to do basically whatever I want, because Jules, and Pat, and Darius, and Turarts, and um, Ashanka, and, and everybody are all super dope. So I assume I can just say whatever I want without consequence, but I did run it uh, past them. Um, but we'll see what happens. I, I'm, I'm gonna double check, probably tonight actually. I'm gonna be like, hey, just, just, just checking in. I wanted to make sure that this was cool to bring up. Chet. Okay. Imagine... Imagine, if you will, Link, but in the form of the spirit or animal that is most representative of Link's character. Okay? Take a moment in your brains, if you're not familiar with this game, which I know there's at least one or two people in this channel that haven't seen this before. Take a moment in your brains and picture Link as his spirit animal. Like, he is embodied by... He is the form of his own spirit. Like, picture... Do you have a picture? Can you see it in your brain? Habant thinks that he's a chicken. Picture his form, his essence, his... His, his combat prowess, his ability to beat ass and take names, his friendliness, his kindness, his inability to talk to cute women, all those things. I have played all the Mario Kart games that I can find, Fabian. Um, I do own one more. Scratch that. I do own two more that I would be technically capable of streaming, but I can't find them. Everybody ready? Who had their bet on Pink Bunny Rabbit? Did anybody bet Pink Bunny Rabbit? Anybody? Do I have any, uh, any, any bets on Pink Money, Pink Bunny Rabbit? Did anyone go with that one? I am currently in the Dark World. Let me show you the map. It's the same as the Light World, but it's different. Uh, the Dark World is the magical golden land where shit is magic and whatever. Like, this guy will tell me. Check it out. What do you want? You have something to say to me, silly rabbit? I came here to get the power of gold, but now I'm a freak, and I can't go back to the real world. If only I had the moon pearl from the Tower of Hera, I could go back to my original shape. I've got good reason to be stressed out, so back off. Shoo! Oh, who are you, Mr. Bunny? This world is like the real world, but evil has twisted it. This is it, ready? The golden power is what changed your shape to reflect what is in your heart and mind. I'm always changing my mind, so I turned into a ball. But if you had a ball called the Moon Pearl, you can keep your original shape here. Is this game old? 1992. 1992? Is that is that right? Oh, I can't leave here without knowing the answer to this. I better be goddamn right. This is my favorite game ever. Zelda Link to the Past. 1991 in Japan. Nineteen ninety-one in Japan. Nineteen ninety-two in North America and Europe. Thank you, brain, for being awesome. I have a great brain. Everyone, I need recognition. Come on, bring it in. Recognition for great brain. Here we go. Okay, so now I'm done being here. So check it out. I was on ground level. I was on the same level as the teleporter and walked over here, and this rock wasn't here. So that is the game teaching me a thing, right? The game is teaching me, yes, the Dark World and the Light World are very, very similar, but there are certain distinct geographical differences that make it so that you can use the portals between the two worlds to manipulate where you are and how you can go there. It's super cool. Pinky and the brain. 
It is I, Sarashala, the Elder. I have some advice. In the dungeons, you can gaze into the magic mirror to return to the entrance at any time. Do not forget this. That is actually very useful. Although, I think I only use it once in the entire playthrough, as far as I'm aware. I think that I only use it once. It's at the very beginning of... Shit, where's the fucking key, dude? Oh, the key's downstairs, right? Cool. I think I only really use that ability in the beginning of the main section. I'll just grab that. All right, we're going to leave again. Of the third crystal palace in the dark world. Third level. That's when I use it. Outside of that, I don't really have any huge, mighty need to use it. I hate those little moldorms. Those little moldorms and the big moldorm. They're assholes. They're assholes! I will block all the ceiling floor tiles, whatever these are. Super floor tile killing man! Oh, shit! Fuck! I'm slowly dying. I can just walk and dodge them. Alright, Kai, I hope you feel better. Stop beeping at me. It's okay, I didn't die. It didn't count. Doesn't count. Watch this. Magic fairy sprinkles. Magic fairy sprinkles, baby. Gonna click this. Zero death. No, I didn't die. You didn't see you didn't see nothing. You didn't- you got no- you got no- you don't- you don't have any clue or idea what you're even talking about, dude. Didn't die. Didn't die. Happily alive. I live. Yeah- whoa! Shit! Forgot these ones throw things. I'm gonna run out of bones and fall apart. You're an extra life. Yeah, I got the big key immediately, so that's kind of fun, right? Gotcha. Yeah, I hear Moldorms. You little bastards. Nyak, 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 nyak. <laughs> um. Alright, so I. Alright, I got another. When I was first grade and I played this game story. Uh, I was friends with a kid named David. And, uh, I invited David to my house at one point. And he noticed that I had this game jammed into my Super Nintendo Entertainment System. These fucking guys. Shit! I fell to just being fine. I'm fine. Totally fine. Um... No, I didn't die. You're fucking wrong. It gives you a death counter at the end of the game, motherfucker. It tells you. It gives you a death counter at the end of the game. Although, interestingly, I think... ...that it, um... Ah, fuck, I missed. That's fine. I think that it counts saving and quitting as a death. So I'll be keeping track of the number of times I save and quit, and if it equals my deaths at the end of the game, I had a zero death game. It's not semantics! Screw you. Um, I was friends with a kid named David. He comes over, and he sees that I have a uh, Super Nintendo and Zelda video game. And he's like, oh, cool, you like to play Zelda. And I'm like, yeah, sure, we fire it up. And he's he's looking at it, and he's like, oh, geez, no, you got the you got the red shield and the red boomerang? And I go, yeah, why? And he says, those are Ganon's shield and Ganon's boomerang. They're cursed. Uh, neither the game nor I are cheating, because I didn't invent the concept of fairies. You didn't- I didn't invent the concept of fairies, dude. It's not my- I didn't write the game. You should've wrote the game if you wanted fairies to not revive you from death. I told you as soon as I got the first bottle that I was immortal.
I didn't know that this secret existed for about 20 years. I, ah, it's not even a clever use of game mechanics. It's the intended use of game mechanics. Shit, get out of here. Um, he goes, no, 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 the, the red shield and the red boomerang are Ganon's shield and boomerang. Um, Salmysis, what's going on, friend? Um, you have to get rid of those as soon as you can. I'm like, I can't get rid of them. There's no way to get rid of them. He's like, no, 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 no. You have to throw them into the lake, and then she'll give you your old shit back. Oh, I never talked about that fairy cultural reference thing that I... Okay, I gotta talk about that, too. That was another thing. So I spent probably a half hour trying to throw my shield back into that fairy fountain, and it wouldn't... It just... She kept giving it back to me, no matter what I tried to do. So I thought I had corrupted the game. So I reset the game and then didn't get those items. And then come to find out he was just a fucking liar. That asshole. Giant Moldorm, kick him in his little butt. Okay, so the fairy fountain is a cool cultural thing. Oh, I won't be the bunny again. I, I, I might become the bunny again at some point, but I picked up the moon pearl, which, do I have a mouse? Yes, the moon pearl is this business right here. So I, when I go to the dark world, I won't be a bunny anymore. Ah, don't die. Don't die to Moldorm. Um... There is a story of a warrior who drops a shitty piece of shit, shitty sword into a lake by accident. And this beautiful woman comes out of the lake and says, Oh, did you drop this? And she hands him a nice-looking sword. And he says, No, that's, that's not my... I didn't drop that. That's not my sword. And she goes, oh, okay, well then it must have been this one that you dropped. And she gives him a way fucking nicer sword, like a gorgeous sword. And he goes, no, that's not my sword either. Is it Lady of the Lake? It can't possibly be. Is that really? I thought it was a Japanese tale. He goes, no, I dropped a shitty sword. And then she, she says, is this your shitty sword? And she hands him the shitty sword. He goes, yeah, that's my sword. And she goes, I like an honest person, so I'll give you something nice in return. And then she gives him all of this cool, all of the awesome swords. I want to say, is that fucking King Arthur? God damn it. Gaijin Goomba lied to me. Gaijin Goomba lied. I don't know anything about King Arthur. I know that his name was Arthur. I know that his name was Arthur, and he pulled a sword out of a stone, and Merlin taught him, uh, how to become a man, and he had an owl that... I forget what the owl did, but then he teaches you ice magic in Kingdom Hearts. That's all I know about Arthur. Fuck! I fell again. Guys. Is it seriously motherfucking King Arthur? Have I not understood this whole time? Is that what the Lady of the Lake story is? Just because some watery tart throws a sword at you, that doesn't make you the king? Is that where that- Fuck, man, I'm s I'm so foolish! This has been recorded. It's gonna get posted on the internet where everyone will know my shame and foolishness. Oh my god. Show's over, fuck you guys, and then I just quit. I never stream again, ever. <laughs> I take my camera and I throw it away. Come here, Moldorm! I will... No! I'm really bad at fighting. I don't know if you've noticed. I'm particularly awful. At Moldorm exterminations. Yeah. Exactly. Ah. I go back on playing video games on the dinosaur because I no longer need a good computer. Because I don't stream anymore. Because fuck streaming, I'm done. I made a fool out of myself once on the internet in front of five people. Well, get over here. I'm not going over there into the skinny part where I could easily die. No, I think I'm winning this one. Got him! Fuck! He got me! No, you can wish all you want. When you wish upon a star... ...makes no difference who you are. Uh, anything your heart desires will keep me the fuck alive, dude. Does the beeping please you?
Does the beeping satisfy you in a deep and sensual way? All I need to get is this final MacGuffin. The, uh, these are, the pendants of tri- of power, wisdom, and courage are miscolored, aren't they? Because I got the green one, which was courage, which is accurate, and then I got the blue one, and they called that power. No, 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 no. What was the first one? Was the first? I got it right here. I forget. I forget what one I got. But I know that the red one is supposed to be power, the blue one is supposed to be wisdom, and the green one is supposed to be courage. And that is not how they're labeled. Alright, he's got one hit left. He's gonna get fast. Here we go, 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 here we go. Oh, dicks. Fuck! Damn it! I don't have the answer to that question readily uh, available, but I will search for it. Second favorite game of all time. I'm trying to decide what game I could just pick up and play. I know, like, the back of my hand, I always enjoy it when I play it. It's possible that I've played it on stream, but also I don't know if I have or not. Don't fall down the hole! I have an idea. Oh, no, wait. It's upstairs. Man. Tasia, I think, uh, I think you may have ruined my life here, guy. I just... Ah, uh, shit. That didn't move that hole. I was hoping that that button would move that hole. Be honest, I genuinely do not know. I have no clue. Do you see this, Moldorm? I'm doing it as hard as I can. Oops, I didn't mean to open the map. I think my problem is that I'm not being a patient person. We're getting the Master Sword before we call this fucking thing quits, man. I'm not leaving... I'm not leaving this chair without the Master Sword in hand. Introduction to the Master Sword, by the way, this video game. The previous two video games didn't exist. There was no Master Sword. There were no sword up upgrades at all in Zelda 2, except for, like, the power upgrades you got when you leveled up. Yeah, it's the... It's the big hole in the middle. Pushes me so far! God, and it's- I'm always right there on the- Everything is bad and sad. Everything is bad and sad. I have no answer. I have no answer for what is my second favorite video game. I have no answer. I can name a bunch of games that it isn't. Like, I really love everything the Blizzard's ever made. None of those games are my second favorite game. Despite the fact that I spend a ton of time in World of Warcraft, Here's the Storm. It's possible that it's a Mario game. It's possible that it's, um... Got him! I got him! I shoved my sword right in his hiney. Right in his pooper. Fucking got it. Nailed it. Nailed it like a carpenter would nail on a wood. That's how. Fucking A right. I've won the Pendant of Wisdom. With this, I have collected all three MacGuffins. Now go to the Lost Woods and get the Master Sword. I know. Oh, I know. 
What's my piece of heart count? And my heart count is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, perfect. We are exactly correctly on time. Zork. Healy. I really loved Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. I really loved Mega Man 4, Mega Man X. I really loved... I like these guys. Hey, guys. Hey, Barf! Mysterious fog has recently fallen over the forest. We have to be careful. Maybe there's nothing, but this tree feels kind of strange as we cut it. Uh, I'm going to get the Master Sword. Oh, yeah. Mega Man X... M Mega Man X is a fucking incredibly, astonishingly, superly welly, goody, welly made game. I'm gonna steal a piece of heart from the thieves. Sweet. It'll be the thieves' den action. Hey, guy. Hey, kid, this is a secret hideout for the gang of thieves. Don't enter without permission. By the way, I heard that one of our ex-members is staying at the entrance to the desert. Oh, yeah, shit, I forgot to talk to that guy. It's all right. I, you don't get anything. I just think he's funny. Okay. There's the Mario mushroom. It smells like f sweet rotten fruit. I can give it to anyone who wants it. Fighting the boss and went... Sorry, what? Briefly, you had the save code before turning around and come back. Oh, yeah, dude. Fucking... Mega Man X was... Great game. Excellent. Super duper game. Uh, all the bunnies. Everyone, pay attention to the bunnies. That's fantastic. Thank you very much, bunnies. Just, uh, the hero's triumph on Cataclysm's Eve wins three symbols of virtue. The Master Sword he will then retrieve, keeping the Knight's line true. Ready? I believe that that's the first instance of that particular Zelda jingle as well. Like, this game had a lot of firsts in it, man. Shirashi Law contacts you tele tele telepathically. Martha, it is extraordinary that you won the Master Sword that makes evil retreat. Oh, they were bunnies. They were running around. I'll show you. This shining sword, I believe you can deflect the wizard's evil powers. The destiny and Sword in the Stone. Yeah, the destiny of this land is in your hands. Please barf. All right, bunnies. Oh, there's some. Maybe squirrel, squirrels? Squirrels? There might be squirrels. Okay. As I walk through the forest, observe the shadows and how cool they are. A little graphical cool stuff. Barf help, the soldiers are coming to the sanctuary. A-I-E. Alia Yakta Est are coming to the sanctuary. Look how fucking cool those shadows are, man. That is such a cool effect. So cool. So cool. So now I have the Master Sword, which makes me a baller. Very much a they see me rolling, they hate and kind of situation here with the Master Sword. I have a slightly wider swing, I think, and also. Uh, laser beams! Got fucking laser beams attached to my hands. And I am at nine and three quarters hearts, which is exactly where I want to be before I go into the dark world. Oh, I can go down the forest, actually. Let's just go to this little secret shortcut section here. Here we are. It's a big sword. Get him, get him, get him. Laser beams. Basically, I'm pretty sure the way the sword upgrades work is every time you upgrade your sword, Everything dies in one fewer hit, and the beams do one hit less worth of damage. So that guy takes two hits to kill with the beam, he used to take two hits to kill with the sword, now he takes one hit to kill with the sword. 
There's a ton of soldiers swarming the joint. Everybody's here. They're spoiling for a fight. I'm wondering now if this is actually too dark. Let's try this for a while, see what it looks like. Yeah, I kind of like this. This is a little richer and nicer. Right in the middle of the game, we're just going to change the video settings. Don't give a damn. Don't give a goddamn. I don't give a damn about your magic barrier. Okay, here we are standing next to a big eyeball. Cool. Be right back with, I don't know, like one more segment, I think, probably. One more 30-minute block of Barf replays Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Stay tuned, everybody. <laughs> 